Oh, and it's lightning. Oh, hot dog. Hello everyone, Thranks is here and welcome back to Worlds Adrift, episode 26. So we just finished amending the end of the last episode to go ahead and get the treasures of the island, and now we're looking for a new place to go. So I know that there's a good island sort of behind this one, and there's one that looks like a city. Ooh, look at all those mantas. Let's see, it looks like that island is on this side of the wind wall. There's the storm wall. Now the wind wall is going to be what separates areas inside of a storm wall boundary. I believe the name of the zone is the remnants, although I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and get pointed in the right direction, and then we'll start unfurling the sails. We'll start to work our way out of here without attracting the mantas, and then we'll kick on the engines once we get a little bit away from all the creatures. Okay. Stop turn. Go ahead. We got a little bit of wind. We'll go ahead and open up the next sail. Uh, if there was any more weight to shed, or if I was willing to make the sails out of something less durable than oak, we could fit a little bit more on here, but really I kind of want that durability in everything. And we stripped all the panels off the top area, so two sails is all we've got for now. Not that bad. That island seems significantly closer. Hmm. A lot of fog in the remnants, it seems like. Almost positive that island is on the far side of the, the storm wall. So much fog. I guess we'll stay the course for now. We'll go to the island up against the wind wall. That's fairly easy to recognize as a landmark. Third sail would really help this ship move. Yeah, we'll have to hope to get a Atlas Sky Core here pretty soon. So let's go ahead and check the heading indicator. It says we're heading west at this point. Oh, look at that island. Make sure there's not one underneath us. No, it appears not. Alright, I don't know how far away we need to get to kick on the engines, but the fog is making the island seem further away than it probably is. Let's go ahead and get the nose down at the very least. And we'll start to rev the engines up a little bit. A little bit, maybe. There you go, one notch of power. Alright, let's go ahead and kick it all the way up. See, there are some mantas there already not happy with what I'm doing. Once we get a little closer, we'll kill the engines. It's probably close enough, actually. Let's go ahead and cut them. No, no, engines off, engines off. Oh, yep, they heard me. They're interested. A couple of them are. Wait, wait, engines are off. Don't be too upset with me now. No, they are. They're upset with me. But my engines are off, guys. They'll get over it, right? Alright, let's go ahead and activate the Atlas Sky Core to help us descend a little bit. Yeah, it looks like they've forgiven me. They've they've lost interest. They're like, that's that's you're not making any noise. We need to level out and go ahead and close up our sails. Two sails get you moving a little faster than I thought. Wow, this island is like a whole little city, huh? Look at it. I don't really see a shipyard, though. So it seems like all the islands in the Tier 3 zone are going to be just swarming with manta rays and require movement by sail. It's fine, I kind of like that. We'll add a little bit of variety to what we're doing here. Yeah, look at all those manta eggs. Yeah, the last thing we want to do is come in here all loud. So we'll probably put a shipyard... Uh, it's not really a good place for it. 
Well, let's start looking for metal, I suppose. Ooh, ooh, no, no, no. Stay away. Please. Please stay away. I don't want any trouble. Oh. So much knowledge. Let's do it. 35 knowledge. Knowledge is great. But let's let's find some of these schematic chests. Doesn't seem like this island is going to have a lot of resources. What's this? A lot of birch trees? I don't think I've seen any iron yet. Oh, there's bound to be stuff over here. Oh, look at that island. That's where we're going next. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm guessing anywhere these chests are arranged in freeze like this is a location that you can get a schematics chest. So I might have to wait for lightning to strike this island. Or maybe they're just spawned in different locations. Let's take a peek. Oof, those stairs. That's that's a little rough. Oh, no, wait, here we go. Hopefully they've been... Uh, no. Okay, so somebody didn't clean them out. That's fine. We'll take the lore. Lore is always good. Manta steak, we don't need that or that. knowledge. Oh, no, that island is inside the storm wall. Right? It looks like it is, right up in the corner. We might have to go there next. Alright, well, I don't want to leave my ship very far. Ooh! I don't want to get attacked by the mantas either. I don't have a pistol. Nope, no, no. No, leave me be. Leave me be. I implore you. Forget about me. Wow. Yeah, these islands look pretty amazing in here. Alright. Let's see what kind of metal we have in here. Tungsten. I'd like to get some more of that, please. 250. Oh my. I'm good with that. Hold on, was there a little bit more? Oh, nope, I think 250 was it. Mm, that's good though. This looks like oak, are you oak? Indeed you are, good deal. All right, we'll restock a little bit on our oak those sails. This island seems to be pretty straightforward, at least it doesn't appear to have a lot of secrets. I think you I think you sh pretty much have to assume any island that has a very deep base is going to have, you know, tunnels and stuff to find in, down inside of it, and these islands that are flat are the only ones that don't, don't have much. Well, not that they don't have much, but that they're not going to have much in that capacity. That's pretty exciting, that island tucked over there in the corner, really close to the wind wall. That'll be fun. Ooh, we have stairs down. Uh, that's where we came from. Okay. I'm going to go out on a limb that we've scanned most of this, but maybe we haven't. So let's get ready to start scanning it. Oh, wait, wait. I think I saw a doorway. A lot of nothing. All right, well, we, we can start scanning this. Yep. Oh, this shows remarkably few signs of its age. Okay, good. No, nope, we already got knowledge for most of that. Okay, well, I think we got the one chest that was up here. Again, I think this place has been looted. So I don't know if we're going to find anything of too much value. Oh! Ooh, no! 
What's happening to me? Oh my. Well, that's just no good. That's just no good at all. All right, well now we have to go back and get our stuff. So let's do that. Ooh, easy does it. Okay. Ooh. Living on the edge. A little bit there. A little bit. Oh, it looks like there's another uh, knowledge cache down there. That's pretty exciting. Here, let's get all of that stuff back. I want that delicious tungsten. Oop, there's more, or more iron or metal over here. I'm hoping it's iron, but, you know, tungsten would work too. Maybe we'll just start making stuff out of tungsten and titanium to get enough of it. Lead. Nah. Go ahead and leave that be. Anything over here? No, just views of these islands. Amazing as they are. Could have sworn I saw. Oh, here it is. Kind of metal. Lead. Oh. That's for you. You can have that. For the next intrepid adventurer following in my footsteps, I leave the lead for them. There go. 35 more knowledge. Looking really good. Oh, we, got, we got a chest uh, with nothing in it. We're going to check them all now, though. Whoa. This world just feels so vast. All these islands are so intricate. I mean, I know that they're player made, but it's it's just they're they're incredibly done. The design of this game is just amazing. The more I play it, the more I want to play it. Mm, could there be a secret over there? Oh, the underbelly. Oh, and it's lightning. Oh, hot dog. Okay, well, if it's lightning, let's go ahead and get the lead. We'll start making a shipyard right now. Look out! It's lightning everywhere! Look out! Having storm wall flashbacks. Okay, we're just going to build it right here. Just to make it nice and easy to dock with. And then we'll also use the lead for... Oh, well, we'll get more lead from the ship. I'm not going to use my other stuff here. Yep, just like that. That's fine. Excellent. Dock it up. Now, come on. Don't be like that. Alright, I'm going to tell the Atlas Sky Corps to go ahead and descend then. There we go. I'm getting better at that. I do like this ship, but I'm already excited to find some Sky Corps upgrades so that we can continue to improve it. Alright, that's got to be that we're docking. Alright, let's get some more lead. And, or do I? Um, actually, I, I don't necessarily need to build anything just yet. So let's just dock the ship to keep it safe, and then let's go look around for more chests. Alright, so let's check the areas we've already checked really fast. There's not one here. And there's not one here. Pretty much any of these, it looks like, could be. Ugh, that manta ray's in my ship, and for no good reason. It's all blue and still inside my ship. Did I get this one? Hmm, okay. I'll then let's go check this area one more time really fast. And as long as there's not a new one over here... 
Then we'll go down and check the whole underbelly. And see if there's any more. Hope hopefully we'll find a good schematic. I'm always excited when the lightning strikes the island as we're on it. Because then as, as long as you know there's nobody else on the island, then that means it's all for you. And correct me if I'm wrong, and this might be a bit of an inference on my part, but is it that the lightning won't strike the island until the last chest is opened and removed? Or can lightning still strike the island even if somebody leaves something in the chest and it, and it never despawns? Because I'm, I'm curious about that. Because it seems like not all the chests spawn when lightning strikes. They all kind of spawn in new locations. Oh, and it looks like here's one right here. What do we got? Spin shaft smoky and a bar pipe. Um, well, that's not really... It's not even a very good engine, to be honest. Hmm. And a bar pipe. We have that one. All right. Let's go ahead and look for more. Oh! Oh, look out! I think we can start down here? Sure. Oh, this is where the lightning struck. Oh, we were just down here. Yeah, there's nothing here. We can go to the next island. Um... Yeah, that actually might be a thing. I think we have one more building to check up on this layer. And then we'll go down. This island's actually pretty small, and there's not a ton of resources on it. So if we explore everything, we'll be able to move on to the next island in the same episode. That'll be good. So I'm trying to stay focused and just start covering everything one after another. Let's be thorough, but methodical. Is that a chest? No, it is not. This is interesting. A little cramped, but okay. Those were checked. That one was checked. Uh, this, I feel like this building didn't have an opening, or at least not one that I found. I guess we're just going to circle it real quick one time. Nope. Nothing. And that one was checked. Wait. Right? Nope, already gained knowledge. Yeah, the door's... Okay, the door's around the other side, I'm guessing. Or is there a door up top? Oh, wait. Secrets, secrets. Indeed, there are secrets. Or maybe this is just not where somebody's meant to be. Yeah, it doesn't really look like it. It's kind of interesting, though. There's just a little opening here. Maybe something does spawn there. But there's not there now. Okay. Let's go to the underside. I think we can... Just Geronimo right down the side. Uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, there's some on both sides? Oh. Just when you think you know what an island is going to give you. Look, there's like ruins and stuff on the underside. Hmm. This is what over here. There's iron or there's metal nodes. I keep wanting to call them iron nodes, but they could be any metal. really care about the metal nodes. I really just want to get some schematics. So let's go over here. We get some knowledge too. Oh! Ooh. Easy does it. There you go. Look at that. Very nice. 35 more knowledge. Oops, somebody stashed something here. Thuntumite steak. What a stash. Nope, what do we have here? 
artificial horizon. That's good stuff. Good, good, good stuff. And we'll collect some lore, which we already have. Oh, now we have an artificial horizon. Well, now we have an excuse to build something, so we are going to have to get a builder. Ooh, easy does it. Well, if you're going to make me hang off the side of this thing anyways, I guess we might as well see what metal's in here, right? Could be something good. Silver? Meh. Could have been something a little better. All right, well, now we'll go to this underside. We'll see what's over here. And then that's looks like that's going to be everything. It's going to be everything for this particular island. And then we're going to go up into the corner. Ooh. What do we have here? Hold on. Ooh, look out. So it's just the one chest. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder if the lightning really just makes one chest spawn. Hmm. Well, in any event, we did get the artificial horizon. Could be that there's more people in these tier 3 zones than I thought. Maybe I'm just no good at finding the chests because they get way more hidden. Oh, that's that's not ruins. Those are like pieces of a ship. Oh, well, there's still the top half of that island over there. I haven't been to that. Let's let's check that out. I was starting to get a little worried there. I wasn't gonna have something to grapple onto. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ooh, I haven't had that happen before. That was a little scary. The manta was just pulling on the grappling cord. For a minute, I thought I had grappled the manta. Anything in here? No. These are really cool, though. Yeah, this place is pretty neat. Little village. Like some kind of castle. Oh, okay. Let me... I just want to look. No. Oh, something. Hold on. Multi-read switch. Okay, well, we can salvage it, right? Tungsten and an atlas shard. I'll take... And a large panel, which we don't need. Hmm. All right, well, I suppose that's it. Feels, feels a little sad. If it really is that the chests don't clear themselves out unless you empty them, and then that's what hap has to happen for the lightning to spawn, which, again, I'm making huge inferences. I could totally be wrong. I guess I could look it up. I'm, I'm sure somebody will correct me if I'm mistaken, or please do. Um, but then that, that should really be fixed. The stuff should respawn after a time regardless, and maybe that is the way it works. Well, we're going to head over in that direction into the corner of the storm wall. Hmm. I don't even... Uh, well, no, before we do that, we're going to make this artificial horizon. Just because. I'm, I'm really excited to get the, uh, the flight instruments. I thought it was actually going to take quite a while. But that is going to make navigating storm wall, if and when the time comes that we have to go back through it so much easier. Oh, I don't have any nickel or anything, huh? I'll just make it out of copper, I guess? Or bronze? Or tin. We'll make it out of tin. 
course we will. Okay. Go ahead and throw it down. Guess I could have waited till the next island to do it, but I'm just so excited. There you go. Artificial horizon. And craft that up for me. Thank you. I guess we'll just put it right over next to the heading indicator. Yeah, I mean it's a little crooked on the bar that it is, but it's going to it's going to give me that horizon, so I guess I can't complain. What the heck was that? Sounded like a bird. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. I don't intend to hang out too long to find out. Let's put our tin back. And, oh, wrong, wrong storage area. Yep, put it back right there. Put these atlas shards there. What is this? More oak. Bring that in. Here, let's put this lamp on the, no, actually we'll keep it on us. Put this torch here, put this lamp here. Sure, yeah, why not? Okay. I guess that's all there is to do for this island. It feels a little... A little light compared to the last island. The last island was massive. And this one just had a couple of rooms to check. We got a couple of chests. Not, not too much in there ourselves a heading indicator though so or uh, artificial horizon let's get our sails up and then we'll get ourselves pointed in the right direction and we'll head on over we'll head on over to the corner of the storm wall yep let's go ahead and keep the turn in oh look you can see those islands are really cool too also the tier 3 zone on the other side there. Alright, let's go ahead and nose up. We'll just stick with the sails we got. There we go. Working our way away from the island. No issues with the mana rays. Yeah, we're gonna have to use these sails every time we get close to an island. It's a real pain having to fight them off with just a little pistol. It's a pretty cool little island, though. I guess it's not little. It's actually really detailed. Is that... Oh, well. Okay, so... That's the island we first hit when we came in that one and now we're going to hit the corner and then from here we'll work out because we're actually going to stay on this side of the wind wall to get all these islands before we try moving. Ooh, I almost cut on the engines. I was going to say, oh, it's time to cut on the engines, but no. Nope, you're going to need sails to get there and back. This is, this is a hard nose up, too, for the sails. All right, let's go ahead and cut the engines. See if we can get a little more nose up. Hopefully our speed will separate us from the mantas pretty fast. Whoa, look at that, look at that artificial horizon. No, 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 don't do that to me. I'm trying to get a, a view on the island. Oh, we're not getting, we're not going high enough. Higher. Higher. Yep. The cloud is all in our way. All right, let's, let's cut the engines. 
That'll let the nose settle down as we lose power. We can always Atlas core up a little higher if we need to. There we go. Look at that, just in time as the Manta Rays appeared. Our sails are... They have the wind. That's good. I wish they had a little bit more. Really, a third sail would make all the difference in the world. I should make a third sail just out of birch or something, just to have it. And we can always replace it with oak later. We have 60 kilograms to work with. I think that's what I'll do. I should have oh, I should have thought of that before we left. That's okay. We'll do that here. Uh... Hey, I know that I'm getting close to the storm wall, but the island is, yeah, it's going to peek right out of the clouds on us. This area is just full of clouds and fog. All right, well, eventually we have to be able to see it because we're going to hit it eventually, right? glad I came over here. This island really looked like it was on the other side of the wind wall at first. Turns out it's not. Yeah, these silent approaches with only two sails are going to take just a little bit of time. And we're going to lose a lot of our maneuverability too since it's lower power. Look at that ship. Oop. I love that frame. It's it's rough, but it, it just looks so good. Are we overhead this thing? What the heck is going on? Gosh, it's really taking a while, isn't it? No, it's not taking too long. Guys. Well, we're already... No, we're not close enough to grapple onto yet. The whole island is going to be fogged in like this, I guess. Oh, here we go. We're getting closer to it now. Yeah, okay. I think we can safely put the nose down and stop the Atlas Core from going up. Let's just direct all our power forward, shall we? I think if we tack a little bit to the left, we'll catch more of the wind, right? Is that what I'm seeing here? Right, yeah, if we turn a little bit more to the left, our sails should... Well, no, we can't turn too far to the left. We'll keep it going to the right. Is that an opening down there? It might be. Oh, the fog is real here. This place looks like Resource Island right here. This is good. I'm sure we'll find some iron here. Maybe. Seems like a lot of resources here. All right, let's 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 start closing up the sails. I don't think we should go too far off the edge of the island here. There's really no need to. What is underneath all of that? What? What is down there? You know what? Let's just stop all the sails here. Hold on. There's something in the middle of this island. This island is like built over top of... What is that, like a spike pit? Okay, well, we're going to do our shipyard on top of it. That'll give us something to grab onto with the dome. All right. Go ahead and craft it, and then we'll put the lead... No, we won't put the lead back, actually. No, we're going to do the assembly station. Because that way we can do a sail made of uh, birch or you know what hemlock whatever we're gonna make it out of something I wonder if we can pull this thing 
Uh, let's, let's just try putting it underneath it. Let's, let's see how that works. Whoa. Looks pretty rough down there, but I see trees and stuff. I don't know what to expect. All right. Let's go ahead and do this. Just put our shipyard right here. Oh! Okay. That's not quite what I imagined. Gotta pay attention to the fine print. You don't want to build a big metal object inside your head. Lesson learned. In case you were unsure, the lesson has been learned. Or maybe not. You would think it would have been learned by now, but maybe not. Getting a little bit of latency. Could be that someone's here with us. It's possible. Let's take a look around the island before we start doing anything with the ship. See if we can get some good metal. Maybe some schematics. Absolutely having this latency issue. Huh. Maybe it's just how close we are to the wind wall? That doesn't seem like a thing. Could be someone running around down in the underbelly here. This place appears to be mostly resources. Looks can be deceiving, though. There's definitely something going on down here. Let's see if we can find the entrance. Go through it like it's intended. I don't want to just drop in and then get confused where I am and where I've been. Maybe that's just what you do here. You just drop in. All right, we're going. It's like palm trees here. Ugh, this latency. Is it something about this island? has to be. Maybe there's just a lot here underneath. Oh, hold on. What do we have? Some lore. I'll take it. Could be the fog. Nope, nope. We're still getting it. Seems like it has to do with a specific room, almost. Like this room over here? Perhaps not. You don't look familiar at all. Hmm. Let's see. We'll salvage this. Lead. <laughs> that's, that's actually almost funny. All right, this, I think, is what's giving us issues, right? This over here? What is this? It's like a pit of spikes. It's like a spike trap to fall in. Oh, it's like hard to navigate. I saw something in here. Here we go. There's 35 knowledge. All right. Let's go ahead and elevate ourselves and see if we can see anything. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here besides the knowledge cache. Hmm. Got that stairwell and that stairwell. Okay, well, let's try this one. Oh, this island is really rough. Um, is that a door I can go through? It does look like there's something on the other side, but 
that doesn't necessarily mean I can go through it. Hmm. Oh, wait, here we go. Here's an open door. Another knowledge cache. The, the distinct absence of chests on these islands makes me think that these tier 3 islands are actually looted. Wait. Is that my feet in the sand? I think it is. It sounded like a grappling hook there for a moment. I'm not getting a message that anyone is tampering with my shipyard or my personal reviver, so I'm gonna ah! go out on a limb and say that if it is them, they're not messing with my stuff. It's really faint, though. It could just be some of the little ambient chirps and noises. Ooh, more tungsten. We're getting a lot of this. Unparalleled strength and heat resistance, but very heavy. Well... It is what it is. The titanium seems to be, ooh, shards of a civic fountain. Oh, we'll salvage that. Aluminum, extremely light without compromising too much on performance. Mmm, that, that sounds delicious. Aluminum, that's what you want right there. Ooh, a chest. More oak, very good. What do we got? Something good. Ooh, Iceberg Rival E3. It's a tier three engine. But it looks like uh, the power is only 17. High resilience, high fuel efficiency. I mean, it's not what I'm looking for. I'm kind of looking for speed at all costs, or at least the same speed I have with better other stats. Do I even want to use up a schematic? I'd have to learn another one. Where are we at with that? I could I could knock out another tier 2 engine. Another schematic slot would be 80. I think it makes sense we would get rid of some of these tier 1 schematics before we would start doing anything else. So let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll just learn it, just to have it. Iceberg Rival E3. Resilience of 41. It's pretty good. We can go ahead and unlock the last tier, random tier 2 engine. Boom, and now we're heading for tier 3, which is 400 knowledge. Power 24, we'll go ahead and learn that, that's fine. Well, it's not a Sky Core upgrade, but it is moving us towards the future. See, I'm already starting to forget where I was and where I've gone. Ooh, I'm guessing this is a place that... Oh, look at this! This was a mining colony. This was a... A slave mining colony. This was the mine shaft. Okay, well then, I guess we should go down and see what's down in the bottom, right? Ash. Nobody cares about ash wood. Let's... Oh, this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I think we're going to learn a little bit about why. Oh, this place has so much latency. Okay. Look at these knowledge caches just hanging out here. 
35. 35. Thank you so much. There's more past them up here. There's a whole tunnel. I wonder how much of this rusted out stuff I've already scanned. Probably most of it. Looks looks like it. Hold on. Have I scanned a hook before? Nope, there you go. Four four knowledge from the hook. What about this pipe? No, this one? This one. Okay, alright. I'm done. What do we got here? Grand Frillship Porthole. What you got? I didn't salvage into anything. Already scanned most of this. Alright, well, we'll go this direction first. See what's out this way. Oh, and there's another path over here. No, just a dead end. I don't see any iron nodes. Whoa. Oh, glowing mushrooms. Oh, that's that's a neat effect. I, I like that. Steel. Let's go ahead and grab some of that. Unrivaled resistance to the elements. That's right. I didn't realize this island was this deep, to be honest. It's amazing how... how unassuming some of these islands can look at first. And then it turns out they have... like, entire cities under them, or an entire mine. A metal mine. Hmm. Dead end. Okay. Well, let's see what we got up here. This is another dead end. You're not going to let me break these big rocks open, are you? I didn't think so. But you'll give me one knowledge. Well, take what you can get, I guess. What do we have ah. here? Oh, hold on. I've got a few different openings. I want to make sure I don't lose my bearings. I came in through the area with the minecart. But look, there's a place to go through. Grab some more Atlas cores. I have a feeling we're going to need quite a few of them in the future, with any luck. What is this? The mine just keeps going and keeps going until... So it spits you out the, the side of the island. Yikes. Down into the void with you. Huh. This island is pretty neat. A whole little collapsed like mining area. Ooh, wait, wait. What do we have? Ow. Hold on. Ooh, ow. Chest with nothing in it. Oak. More oak. I'll absolutely take some of that. I'm a little disappointed. None of these rocks seem mineable. None of them seem to have metal in them. So that would be really neat. But the little stone slab that was like a poster had a big question mark next to the ore. Oh yeah, this island is actually a really good size. Look how far away that side is from here. It gives you a good, good idea how big these areas are. Is that... Did I just travel through there? Hold on. There might be a... I can get a little better at swinging through these. I, I, th 
think I've officially lost my way at this point. Oh, I am so lost. This is not good. I don't have a solid frame of reference. We're just going to work our way up. Ooh, dead end. Not off to a good start. <laughs> okay, let's try... Was this way... Here, this will tell us if we've been here before. We have not. We've got a solenoid bulkhead. Or copper. Ooh. Oh, bring the torch back. So we'll just follow this path then, since we know we haven't been this way yet. Oop, oh, more salvage. Hold on. What do we have here? This is the ruined helmet with tin in it. Okay. Or it's made of tin, rather. This is a little hard to see. What's going on here? Okay, so it looks like two pathways moving forward. And I came from... Oh, I wasn't even paying attention to which one I came from. Well, if we're trying to move up, let's move up. This one's ahead of me and it's higher, so we'll go this way. Oh, wait, wait. This is something. This is not the way we went down. But it looks like we're back out of the mine now. Engine housing. Get some steel and some fuel. Okay, wow. Yes, yeah, so exploring this island is going to be a little challenging. I guess we could just keep walking around hoping to find some hoping to find some more chests, but perhaps being up on the surface and looking for some iron would be more beneficial. Heck, if we get enough to start a second stack of titanium, I'm likely to kick the bronze right out the side of the uh, of the ship and start starting the second stack of titanium. We can start making our panels out of titanium. That would be killer. Stronger for less weight. More for less. You can't go wrong. Oh, yeah. That is the storm wall and the wind wall we're hearing. I didn't see any structures really on the surface. Everything appears to be subsurface at this location. But I suppose it's possible there's a chest up here, or... Well, at the very least, we want to check around a little bit for iron. We've got our stack of oak back. So that's not really a problem. And there's palm trees here, which are nice. Not a lot of, not a lot of metal nodes. Not like you would think on an island that was being mined. Really thought I'd see more. Ooh, no. All right, I'll go down just to see what's here. Oh, I've already seen this. Oh, there's so much on this island, though. The latency is, is crushing me. All this lag. Frame rate drop. I think it has to do with the server, though, and this particular island, just because there's so much to it, so many layers upon layers upon layers. It's really neat, though. Silver out of one metal node. I don't see... Well, no, there's another one. We'll go check that one. I think that's a metal node. Yeah, it is. Oh, that might be one. There, it might not. It looks. It doesn't look to be the different color. It kind of looks to be the same color. Oh yeah, this is this is one. Okay, come on, some iron, steel. Ooh, 
Okay, no, I'm good with that. Oh, there it goes. I think we got all the steel out of it. Oh, here's another one. Well, I guess iron is, is going to be so hard to find, we're going to have to start using titanium or steel. Gold. Yeah, we need to start saving up our gold so that when we upgrade all of our Atlas core parts, we can make the internals out of gold. And that'll boost their performance much better than copper does. Yeah, I guess we'll just keep picking up the metal for now. Titanium. Very good. We're going to take our time and make sure that we get each individual piece. Yep, and there's one right here. I guess we can go ahead and take out that Atlas core. There we go. Yep, there they are. All right. Pretty happy so far with the sheer amount of titanium and steel and everything else we've gotten. Yep, lots of steel. There's the titanium. Sit tin, your silver, gold. We did get some iron, now that I think of it. <gasps> Sunstream Hurricane U2. Old on somebody oh, oh, oh. so we're using the spark workhorse right and this has yeah all the same power but with fuel efficiency oh we got a yeah we got a tier four engine wow that's a lot of materials though Combustible internals, casing, and mechanical parts. I want to upgrade our ship. I would, I would bet money though that that that's not going to be a thing because I'm sure that engine is significantly heavier than what we're using currently. And if that's the case, there's really not a whole lot we can do about it. You know what? I'm going to leave my tin here. Just for you guys. Not my aluminum. Forget that. We might have to build just another storage before anything else. That, that chest right there reaffirmed why all the more reason we need to be checking every wooden chest we come across. Just to rule it out. Tier 4 engine. Wow. Just looking at the materials, I'm sure it weighs a lot. Doesn't even look to be a super high power engine for tier 4. It was mostly all of the other stats that were boosted up really high. Being 37 on the power, though, is no slouch. That's pretty good. All right, well, I think we've about made our rounds with the island. Yep, at this point, I don't see much of a reason to stay here too much longer. So no Skycore upgrade, that's all right. There are plenty of other islands to check out for sure. And the lightning didn't strike here while we were here, so that's fine. It's possible maybe if the lightning strikes here when I come back next episode while I'm taking care of things, then maybe we'll check it out again? I don't know. There are plenty of other islands. We might just move on. We did get some good metal here, though. We'll see. Might be a good place to get some more titanium and such. Ah! Ooh, ah! In any event, that's going to be pretty much the end of the episode. I'm going to go ahead and craft probably another storage chest 
before I end it and throw some of our valuable metal in there to make sure that we absolutely have room to start a second titanium stack and to make sure all of our steel and gold and tungsten and all this high quality metal goes in there. So this has been, ooh, Worlds Adrift. Episode 26, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching because as always, I've had a good time playing. So come back next time as we continue the search for the Skycore upgrades. Oh, and yeah, we're gonna have to use some of our lighter metal and wood. But until then, take care.